guys, this is Mrs. Hall, and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to talk about the first two sections on the anagram packet. So the front page, you don't actually draw anything on. This is just showing you step by step how you would go do the title curve distortions and also stretching grids. Okay, so in step one, you can see they have the dots. They add in these sort of curved lines. And then after that, this is the hard part. They make these arced lines around those other ones. And this is where I even have trouble with sometimes. Um, beyond that, this gives you a variation like where you could add dots or things like that if you wanted to. Okay, the next one is called stretching grids. You've seen probably an optical illusion similar to this before. It gives you um, an idea of how you are going to connect with curved lines, okay? And then you go across and you fill them in. So I'm going to show you how to do this with a pen, but I suggest you do this with a pencil. Otherwise, this is going to bleed through and it's going to be a little bit of an issue for you. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have this packet because you don't have a printer, it's possible to do this on another sheet of paper, but it's gonna be a little harder because you're gonna to have to measure out a grid and measure out a circle. So if I was a student that did not have a uh, packet, this is what I probably would do. I would take a white piece of paper and at the top, I would go ahead and create a section for the first one, which is a little bit smaller. So maybe like a rectangle, two or three inches. And then at the top, I would write, I believe that is called curve distortions. Okay, so curve distortions. Then what I would do is I would put some dots, kind of random, like this, because I'm trying to mimic this paper as much as possible. The next one would be a little harder because you would need a grid. Um, what I would do is I would get a lid or something round that you could draw around. So this is a little small, but I think it'll work. I got some tape here. So I would draw around that. And this is only if you don't have the packet at your house, okay? So I would draw around that. Then I think what I would do is when I measure these spaces, they're half an inch. So I would, this would be a little bit more time consuming, but you could do it. You would just take your ruler, put it on the paper and measure every half of it an inch. So I'd make a measure at half an inch, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and eight. And then I'm gonna have to do the exact same thing at the bottom. So I could put my ruler on the table, make a mark every half inch, just like that. And then I'm gonna connect those lines together. Now I'm gonna have to do the exact same thing on the other sides, okay? So I would connect these together. I'm not going to spend this whole time connecting them together. You can get the gist of how this would look. I'm not going to actually draw through the circle because I don't, I want this to look exactly like the other one. Then what I would need to do is turn my paper, make half inch marks this way. So I would do the exact same thing. Half inch, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. Do the exact same thing on the other side so I could match it up. And at the very, very end, I basically have a paper exactly the same as the printout. So you really wouldn't uh, need to have the printout uh, if you do not have a printer at your home and you're virtual. Or if you're starting this packet at your house and you forgot it, this is a way to do it too, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go back to my packet and I'm gonna start with step one on curve distortions. And I happen to have another packet that I can kind of place here to show you what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna connect these together as best as I can. 
And I don't have to do it exactly like the packet because sometimes I have to guess with this too. So I guess I'll connect these. And I tend to add like extras. So I might connect like these together. Oops, I didn't do that right. It needs to be like that. Okay, and sometimes I like connect these together or if I don't think there's enough, I'll add some. Because this is, honestly, I think this one is the hardest one out of all of them. So after you do that, they want you to basically add curved lines around it. So they want you to say, well, we're going to connect this with curved lines until we can't anymore. And then maybe this one comes in and it's curved and it's right at the edge. This is tricky. This one kind of, I don't know about this one. So you connect it to the best of your abilities all the way to the edge of the paper. So then I would go with this one just until they kind of touch. And if it's not all filled in, that's okay, but just do your best to fill it in. So like this would go up. And you can pause this video again at any time that you need to. This is just giving you another idea for when you do your actual project of things that you could do. Okay, so this is curved distortions, and I'll need to do that to the very end. I guess I could do this like that. Okay, so there we go. There's the curved distortions one. All right, let's do the second one, stretching grid. So what it wants me to do first is connect the lines with a curve, okay? And then it curves this way. So here we go. We'll see how this works. All right, so start with this one. I'm going to curve it over. Okay, go to the next one, curve, next one, curve, oops, this one's going to curve, this one I guess will just be straight, or about straight, this one's going to curve, oh, I was going to do this with a pen and then I realized I'm doing it with a pencil, but that's okay, okay, all right, now once you have that done, you're going to flip it just like this. And I usually like to find the straight one first. And then I do the exact same thing. So I'll, I'll start like right here and I'll curve it. All right. So then you can see that's a little off right there. Oh, I have no idea what I pressed here. Oh, who knows? Okay. Anyway, um, I would go ahead and I would um, start shading these in. So you can see it's a checkerboard. Okay. So I would go through and I would just start shading them in. If you'd rather use uh, something else besides a pencil, you can, but remember it might bleed through. Um, you're just going to take a picture of it to submit each page. So it, either way, it's, it's fine with me. Um, I want you to attempt to shade in all of these. So for example, once I get done with the sphere, I'm going to start working on the background. In the background, it kind of just depends how you want to do it um, with the different blocks. Let me show you how they did it here. Um, they didn't really, like, um, match it. They just started at the top. So what I would do after I have all these done, I would just start at the top and do one, skip, two, skip. And this just gives you an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Obviously, I'm going a little too fast because it doesn't look very good. I'm going to give you points for doing this packet, like pretty many points. So make sure you take your time because I understand that this packet is time consuming. So I'm going to make sure I compensate you for that amount of points. Okay. So don't think it's going to be worth like 10 points or something. It's not. I have to figure out exactly how many it's going to be worth, but it's going to be worth quite a few. If you have questions about these first two, let me know. The next video is going to be on the next one. Thanks so much.